Last Friday? Last Friday, I fell in love. To tell you the truth, I knew it the moment I saw her. And I'll never forget how we met. Admittedly, not the most romantic beginning. Whoa. But I've never been great at romance. Or funerals, for that matter. Thanks everyone for coming. Uh, I'm sure Grandma would be thrilled to see all your frowning faces. Anyway, uh, time to feed my cat. I'm sorry. Where was I? Webster's Dictionary defines death as... Egg salad? Yes, thank you. Adam. Mini sandwich? No, thank you. Who'd you match with? How'd you... Oh yeah, I don't have a cat. I know the Mingo Bing. So you've decided to try that cesspool of an app? What are you talking about? You and Joe met on Mingler. Hey, Joe. Hey, Adam. Sorry for your loss. Ooh, excellent. Yeah. Joe and I are the exception. This girl is pretty exceptional. Let's see. Playing with elephants, but not riding an elephant. She's canoeing and she's sterning. Snowboarding and a bikini on a beach. I'm not sure if that's entirely necessary, but all right. Nice match. Uh, nice match for you, Adam. Ooh, close. What? Bio. Must be willing to lie about how we met. Oregon. She's just joking. It's the only thing in her bio. Yeah, every word is capitalized. I mean, if she's willing to lie about how you met, what else is fair game? Maybe she can't even snowboard. Yeah, anyone in a toque looks like they can snowboard. Maybe she's a murderer. Anyone can be a murderer. Would you two just hush it? Consider it a bullet dodged. What are you doing? I already messaged her. Uh, Adam, no. Yes. We got a date tomorrow. Whatever, it's your funeral. I met Lucy for real the next day. Adam. And uh, I know I said this before, but whoa. 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 Hi. Hi. I've felt butterflies before, but this was more like, I don't know, flamingos or kangaroos. Is that a Rihanna song? I'll admit, I fell hard. Oh. That should help. Cheers. Better? Oh, yeah. Okay, be honest. Where were you when we matched? My grandma's few fumigation certification ceremony. Her funeral. Oh, that's bad. I mean, it's sad. I'm, I'm so sorry. Thanks. What was her name? Fran. I called her, uh, Fran Ma. <laughs> well, here's to you, Fran. All right, your turn. What's with this must be willing to lie about how we met stuff? You're not pulling a gun, are you? I'll lie, I swear. Oh, old school. Yeah, this is my family. Um, these are my parents. They met while they were saving dolphins in Australia. Um, my grandpa came out of a coma after hearing my grandmother singing in the hospital. Oh, and my great-great-grandparents, they met on the Titanic. Whoa, just like Titanic. And my great-great-great-grandparents met when he killed a squire in a duel to win her freedom. That's a lot of romance. <laughs> I know. My entire family has met their significant other in the most stupidly romantic way possible. And then they say I shouldn't settle for a guy I meet in a bar. So, if I did date someone I met online, we'd have to come up with a damn good story. Whoa. Yeah, whoa. What would the story be? Who's ours? Yeah. 
Well, what would you tell your parents? Oh, you mean something better than matching on an app at your grandma's funeral? Actually, in the bathroom at my grandma's funeral. <laughs> wow, really put me on the spot here, Adam. Um, all right. We could go Disney. <laughs> or some sitcom garbage in an elevator. <laughs> or we met here. We both came to see theater in the park. Romeo and Juliet. Romance. Good call. Oh, she doth teach the torches to burn bright. It, sh it seems she hangs upon the cheek of night. Saints do not move, though grant for prayer's sake. Then move not, while my prayer's effect I take. Getting pretty romantic. It's not squire murdering romantic, though. So, how about after the kite flying, you carved your names into a tree? Isn't that bad for the tree? It's a fictional tree. Yeah, but fine, a bench. You carved your names into a fictional bench. Deal. And then when the park was empty, and the last rays of sun sparkled off the water, we had our first perfect kiss. Something like that. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's not so bad. It kind of is, though, because if I have to lie to my entire family about how we met, then... then I'd have to lie to my family. I mean, I mean, he, the, your fictional boyfriend yeah, in this Yeah, fictional boyfriend would have to lie to everyone. Well, what's so bad about that? I mean, I wouldn't mind having a better story than... Desecrating your grandma's funeral? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> really? Yeah. Huh. You're a pretty cool dude, Adam. You're a pretty cool dude, too. Lucy. Right then I knew. One second. I had found a girl I was willing to lie for. What's with the smiles? Actually, it's a pretty romantic story. All I had to do was lie to everyone I knew. So that's what I did. I told my friend I met a girl. He asked, is she hot? And I said, I've never seen anyone more beautiful. He said, noise, and they were asked how we met. But I told my parents, and they were thrilled. You went to Romeo and Juliet by yourself? Uh, well, I even told the statue guy outside my building. Shakespeare? Bridge kissing? Sounds nice, man. Really, really nice. I saw Lucy as many times as I could over the last few days. We ended up doing a lot of the things we said we did in our fake story. And a few things that weren't part of the story. For the first time in my life, I knew I was in love. Love? Ew, please tell me you did not say you love her. You tell Joe you love him like 20 times a day. It drives him nuts. That's because he's the one. More like a one out of 10. You are gorgeous. Don't drop that. You are insane. No one would ever meet like that, ever. It's just a story. A dumb story. Why are you putting so much effort into a mingler hookup anyway? That's not what this is. And besides, you're the only other person who knows how I actually met Lucy. And me. And Joe. So, I need you to go along with this. To appease her romance-crazed family? Maybe crazed. I'll find out if they're crazed soon enough. Why? Hey, so my parents want to meet you. Your parents? The ones who met saving dolphins? Well, actually, the dolphins saved them when their boat sank. Pushed them up on the same reef together, but yep, them. Okay. When? Tomorrow? Yeah. That seems a bit soon for a Mingler date. True, it is soon, but my family doesn't know we met on Mingler. They think we met in some super lame romantic way. Thus, they are dying to talk to you about it. Huh. So I'm meeting them for brunch. Wow. <whistles> so when do I get to meet her? Oh, um, after brunch, I was thinking we could take your sister out. Oh, Jay's tickets. Oh, all right. Yeah, I'll lie for you. No matter what? No matter who asks, your secret's safe with me. And me. Thank you. Today is the day I meet Lucy's family. 
thought she'd come early to surprise me, so I decided to surprise her. Well, 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 looks like the early bird does get the- Detective Lehan, Detective Haney. Adam Robitaille? Yes. Yes, uh, sorry about that. May we ask where you were last Saturday night, sir? It's actually a pretty romantic story. Hmm. But it was you two. You came to my house, you knocked on my door, asked me what I was doing last weekend. I told you a fake story that a girl I'm dating came up with. And now, finally, I'm telling you the real, actual truth. I should have done it from the beginning because I realized this is a huge misunderstanding and I'm about to miss brunch with my hot girlfriend's family. Oh, we're not in the business of interrupting hot brunches, Mr. Robitaille. We just want to know if you have information about someone. Who? Lucy? Is she okay? Oh, I'm sure wherever Lucy is, she's fine. This is about Trevor Joshi. Who? We met Mr. Joshi this morning in the High Park Pond. Oh, uh, whoa. His hands were tied together with what Lehan here thought was, what, fishing line? Fishing line, yeah. But you know, it kind of looks like kite string. Yeah, maybe. He was killed with a knife, stabbed in the neck. Ew. Perp left the weapon on the body, right in the guy's pocket, covered in blood. Real sloppy murdering. Yeah, I guess. Coroner's report said that the body was dumped last weekend, probably Saturday night. Does any of this sound familiar? Wait, you think that I... I was with Lucy last Saturday. Right, right. When you two were smooching on that bridge with no one else around. Don't forget the sunset. No, no, no. That was part of the fake story I told you. <laughs> oh, boy. Listen, you could really save our keisters here. We'd love to talk to Lucy to confirm your story, but the people we talk to have never met her. Not your friend, not your family, not that statue guy outside your building. Not even your sister or her boyfriend. And that ice cream girl you mentioned, she remembers you from the park that Saturday because you bought two cones for yourself and told her <clears throat> some dumb story about a chick who probably ain't even that hot. That's ridiculous. She is that hot. Look, I'll show you. Must have deleted it because things are going so well for you too. It's not looking good, Adam. Hold on, I'll, I'll call her. Yeah, this is really, really not looking good, Adam. How'd you get Lucy's phone? This is Trevor Joshi's phone. Led us straight to you this morning when we got the tip he was missing. Found it under your bed when we searched your apartment right next to this. Oh, excuse me. Leon. Aha. Aha. Yeah, all right, thanks. Looks like the DNA swab we took from you is a match for some of the blood on the knife. Yes. Wait, how would my blow my. One second. Listen, of all the alibis we have ever heard, yours has to be the most creative. And for that, I commend you. Yeah. But for the murder of Trevor Joshi, I hereby place you under arrest. Stand up! She lied about the dolphins. She lied about the dolphins. She lied about the dolphins? <laughs> she lied about Package.
Good night, good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say... Hey, Adam. I'm sorry for setting you up for murder and also making you miss the Jays game. Walk off double, it was awesome. Anyway, I owe you a huge explanation. I accidentally murdered my last mingler date. Oh, hey, kitty. Oh, you like that? Yeah. Ouch. She what? Robert Pawson, off the counters. Hey, do you like nibs? Because I'm kind of craving some nibs and... Whoa. Oh, ew, ew, ew. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, ew. It looked bad. OJ bad. And, like OJ, I didn't want to go to jail, so I got creative. I had to pin it on someone, so I decided to use the next guy I matched with. Ouch. When it came to your profile, I almost didn't swipe right. Because deep down I knew I liked you from the moment I saw you. Not enough to stop me from framing you, but the feelings are there. Honest. Which is why, when I'm out of the country, I'm going to confess and clear your name. Promise. And maybe now that we have an interesting story about how we met, we can give it a real shot. Meet you in my favorite place if you want. Oh, and P.S. My real name is Glenda. Just kidding, it's Haley. Whoa. Snowboarding and a bikini on a beach. I'm not sure if that's entirely necessary, but all right. Nice match. Nice match for you, Adam. Thanks.